In this video, we're going to try and figure out what is and is not a function. An example we'll be looking at will be these soda machines. Just like a function, a soda machine has a set of inputs and outputs. For this machine here, the inputs will be the different buttons you can press. We can press the red button, the blue button, the silver button, or the green button. And the outputs are going to be what type of soda we get. So we can either get a red cola, a diet blue, a silver mist, or a green dew. So let's test out machine A. I'm going to press the red button and I'm going to get a silver mist. Okay. I'm going to press the blue button and I'm going to get a green dew. I'm going to press the silver button and I'm going to get a red cola. And when I press the green button, I'm going to get a diet blue. So what do you think? Is machine A functioning properly? The answer might surprise you. So it turns out machine A is functioning properly. Now you're probably wondering, wait, I'm not getting any of the solos I want. How can this machine be functioning properly? Well, in terms of math, when we say something is functioning properly, what we're really asking is, is this machine predictable or consistent? So as you can see, whenever I press a button, the solo that comes out is going to be consistent. So whenever I press the red button, I'm always going to get a silver mist. Whenever I press a blue button, I'm always going to get a green dew. Whenever I press the silver button, I'm always going to get a red cola. And whenever I press the green button, I'm always going to get a diet blue. So machine A is an example of something that's functioning properly because it's consistent. Probably what happened was the person who loaded the solos put them in the wrong spot. But machine A is functioning properly. All right, let's take a look at machine B. Let's say it's lunchtime and I want to get some solar for me and a few friends. So I know that two of my friends really like red cola. So I'm gonna get two of those. Okay, there's one red cola. There's another red cola. I know two of my friends like diet blue. So let me get some diet blues. I know two of my friends like green dew. So let me get some green dews. And I know that silver mist is super popular. Six of my friends want silver mist. So here's a silver mist. Wait a minute. So that gave me a green dew. Okay. Another green dew. Hmm. Maybe silver mist only gives me green dew. Let's try it again. Oh, wait a minute. Now this is giving me a diet blue. Oh, there's a silver mist I wanted. And another diet blue. Huh. Still don't have enough silver mists. Let me try putting in some more money. All right. There's a silver mist I wanted. Uh, another green dew and a red cola and now I'm all out of money so what do you think is machine B functioning properly so it turns out machine B is an example of something that's not functioning properly again our definition of functioning properly is that if it's consistent when I press the silver button sometimes I get a red cola sometimes I get a dial blue sometimes I get what I want a silver mist and sometimes I get a green dew. So since this is inconsistent, we would say machine B is not functioning properly. So in summary, when we say something is a function, for every input, we always get the same output. Every input has one output. When something is not functioning properly, that means an input can have multiple outputs. 